Hi guys, Abe Kashiwagi. I got a good question for you, and it is how to set up your DKIM. Uh, if you don't know what DKIM is, it stands for Domain Key Identified Mail. And simply put, it is a way that when you send emails to Gmail or AOL or, or Exchange, any of those email service providers, they have a way to go back and identify that you are a legitimate company. You are who you say you are. For me, for instance, uh, we are Be Automated. Okay, and I'm actually going to show you how I set up my DKIM, and I'm using a common hosting uh, called GoDaddy. Most of you are probably familiar with it. So the first thing I have to do is I have to log into Infusionsoft, and I'm going to come over here to my marketing settings. I'm going to scroll down a little. It does, it's not called DKIM. It's actually called email authentication. And you can see I have a couple uh, domains authenticated, right? And you can see be automated is one of them. So I'm gonna just click retry validation. Uh, originally, what you'll do is you'll just click add a domain and it should pop up the same screen right here, okay? And it gives you steps for it, but I know it can be a little confusing if you're not um, tech savvy or if you've never done this before, you never me messed with your hosting, right? So as soon as this comes up, the first thing you wanna do is you wanna go open another window and you're going to want to go to your hosting. So I'm just going to click through to GoDaddy right here, my sign in. All right. I'm going to want to get signed in. Uh, as soon as I'm signed in, I could come over here and I could just go manage my domains. All right. You can see my Be Automated pops up. That's the one I'm going to do. So give it a good click. And I'm going to scroll down, uh, scroll pretty far down. What you're trying to get to is manage your DNS. All right. So if you're not doing GoDaddy, if you're using Bluehost, you know, one of the other ones, you want to find, you want to get to the point where you can manage your DNS. So I'm going to click manage DNS. And it should pop up a bunch of different types of C names, right? Right here is different types. Uh, what I want to do is I want to go back to my instructions in Infusionsoft. And it says, ensure that the C name or host value in your DNS is the same as the following. So it wants me to create a C name, all right? So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna copy this URL. I'm gonna come back here and I'm going to want to create my own new C name here. And if I scroll down, it will actually let me click add here. I'm not gonna really add though. Uh, I'm just gonna find the one that I had done before. So if I scroll, here it is, C name. So if I were to click add, a screen like this would pop up. It would have what's your host, your points to, and your TTL. You can see here, this is where I pasted that URL. It's not really a URL, um, but it's this, this strip, this line of lettering. I copied that. That's where I'm going to paste that, right into the host. And then the points to, in step two, it gives you a URL. So that's the URL that I need to copy and paste over into the points to. And then the last one being TTTL, right? Uh, it doesn't have anything there, but that's okay. All right, we're just gonna do a common one, one hour for TTL. And then all we have to do is click save. Now, I'm not gonna really save this uh, because remember it's already connected. When I come back here and I click verify, do not be frustrated if when you click verify, it still cannot verify that your domain or authenticate your domain at that point. Because mine actually took, I think it took at least a day. So I waited a day before I came back in and tried to validate this. Um, but when I came in and tried to validate it, it actually worked and it turned green. Yeah, but up until that point, it was yellow. So if it doesn't work, give it at least 24 to 48 hours. And I know inside of the instructions, it actually says that somewhere um, that you should give it at least 24 to 48 hours to authenticate it, all right? And if you if you need more instructions, you don't have GoDaddy, click over here to the DKIM Help Center article. I mean, it's really, really helpful. If I click through, I'll move this over a little. <laughs> Maybe I can actually screen out here. Well, move this up. 
And let's move down a little farther. Look, it gives you steps, kind of like what I did. Uh, the great thing is it's got the top six hosting servers. All right, so, I mean, if you went through GoDaddy, it would show you how to do GoDaddy, kind of like what I just showed you, but mine was real time. Uh, Bluehost, HostGator. All right, so if you have any of these, I would come straight here, and I might want to look at the instructions. Maybe there's some unique instructions for that. But I hope that was helpful.